Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades. The day has finally come. We're going to set the motor. We're going to set the belt, uh, belt drive torque converter and we are going to hopefully get this thing moving and driving today. So we can do a little bit of test driving, make sure everything is right and just verify nothing's going to fall apart. Uh, but before we get too far into that, if you're digging this kind of content and you're digging this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button on the bottom. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me some comments, what you want to see, what you want to do different, and then ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I got quite a few projects coming up. I'm going to build a, a welder's layout table. Uh, I'm going to turn this tailgate behind me here and into a bench, as well as a couple other projects that I've got coming up. So please hit that, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then hit me with some comments, anything you want, even if you just want to say hi, tell me what you like, what you don't like, what I can do differently, and what you would like to see coming up on the channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to relocate the camera here. We're going to talk a little bit about this engine because you can see it's no longer stock. Uh, I've done some mods to it, so we're going to talk really quickly about the mods that I did to it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it over. Well, we're going to lay out a template. And then we're going to take it over to the go-kart and we're going to set the go-kart engine mount up to accept the engine mount the belt drive uh, and i already know there's a couple of things that i have to do to make some changes to get that to mount up we're going to mount a chain and if we're lucky maybe we're going to get this thing moving today so let's relocate the camera and let's talk about the engine a little bit all right let's talk about this engine a little bit so it's uh it's a briggs and stratton it's a single overhead valve system. It's a 208cc. Uh, they call it a CR950, and that's because they're claiming 9.5 foot-pounds of torque. So we'll see. Now you can obviously see that uh, this thing's not stock. Uh, I've taken the air box off of it. Used the stock carburetor, but I've taken the air box off it, and I've just put on a K&N style uh, pleated filter with a, with a sleeve over it. I got that from Go Power Sports. Uh, I've also put on a header pipe, uh, just a, a higher flowing header pipe with just a screw on muffler, just to open up the, the system a little bit. Uh, these engines are so choked back and restricted that you can actually gain a little horsepower just by opening up the, the system and letting it breathe. I still have to put a filter here on the breather. Uh, I don't want to get junk and dirt in here and you don't want to plug this off or it'll build excessive crankcase pressure and you'll start leaking oil out of places that it shouldn't be coming out. So I still need to put a filter on here, but that'll come up. And then the other thing I did was I took the float bowl off the bottom of the carburetor here and I removed the main jet and I drilled the main jet out to 0.038. Uh, I think they come stock with a 0.035 and bringing it out to 0.038. Anytime you increase the air coming in and increase the air coming out, you lean the mixture up so you need to richen it up just a little bit so you don't burn your engine down. A lean mixture is a hot motor uh, and a hot motor will basically destroy itself if it's running too lean over the course of time. So I have not removed the governor yet. We're going to see how it operates with the governor in place. Really, the intention is is kind of for the kids to drive this. If it's underpowered, I'll do a governor removal on it, but I haven't changed out the governor on or done the governor bypass on it yet. We're going to see how she operates without it first. <clears throat> so that's the modifications I did on the engine. You saw in an earlier video that I did a quick talk about and review on this torque converter drive, belt drive that I'm going to use. Uh, I'm not going to do an installation video on that but I will be installing it on the engine once we get the engine set. All right, so the first thing we have to do is we have to mount this thing on the, on the go-kart frame itself. And so here's the mounting base right here. So what we need to do is we need to transfer this to the engine mounting system on the go-kart. And the easiest way to do that is to take yourself a piece of paper And I'm going to cut it down because it's way too long. And on an engine that's got a little time on it, this works really, really well because there's a little bit of dirt and oil and stuff on here to help you make marks. I'm going to tape this piece of paper to the engine. All right, so now that's in place. So now what we do is we can take and just take our finger 
and we can rub onto the holes here and mark the engine mounting holes. Okay, so there's the engine holes. And then when you get done with that, don't forget to mark the edges of the mounting plate here. Just so you know where the edges of it are. That'll make things go a little smoother and locating it. And when you take the tape off, you've got a basic outline of where the engine is. Then I like to grab yon scribbler. And I just like to take a pencil and kind of freehand outline where the holes are. So there I've got a layout template of my engine. Now what we have to remember is that the slotted side or the slotted holes are on the drive shaft side. The round holes are on the recoil side. So this is going to be the layout for the engine. So I already see that I have a problem here, and that's the back of the torque converter drive is hitting the cross member. So I'm going to have to grind away a little of that, a little bit of this engine mount because it's it's not allowing me to, to flush mount it. I can't bring the engine any further over this way because it's hitting the muffler. Alright, I've got good clearance all the way around for the on the torque converter drive. So now what I need to do is I need to make a mark. Noting the corners. So that's where the engine's gonna sit.
So there we go, successful test drive. Everything is working, the steering is working, I got good solid brakes, I can lock up the back tires. Uh, the engine is running great, the belt torque converter drive is running perfect. We drove it around enough to get the, uh, to get the header pipe nice and blue, so uh, the engine's running as it should, and it doesn't smoke, and everything's working as it should. So we've got a, we've got a successful test drive, and we have a good mechanical machine. So now the next step in the process will be to disassemble it, paint it, install a floor pan, put in a, put in a new seat, and reassemble everything, get everything aligned and adjusted the way it should be and, and finalize everything and then this project will be a wrap. So if you like this video and you like this kind of content, please hit that subscription button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, give me some comments in there. Uh, ding that notification bell so you get notified of the next upcoming videos. And thanks for riding along. This is Ed with Jack of All Trades and we will see you on the next video.